Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to be doing number two. <laughs> that didn't go. <laughs> wow, that that came out there. Well. We're going to be doing a number two. <laughs> no, we where, won't. Where? <laughs> okay, um, another try. We're going to be doing a part, part two, two. <laughs> of <laughs> the uh, nice pastel colors that I have. So there was some SE, there was some C and D. Um, most of them have very good brushes except for this one, but we'll see how this one goes on with the OPI brush. And uh, we have some Zoya and SE Express C and all that stuff. So, okay, let's tr let's start. And this, you have to see, you have to see this color in action. Alrighty. All right. So uh, we manicured these nails already. And actually last time we did an MBX treatment, which it looks like really helped these nails. So I will link the video. It's called Damage Nails. I will link the video below so you can see. Mm -hmm. um, let's make sure that it's clean. Um, yes, so definitely uh, looks like the nails have improved. So the first color we're going to show you is Lace Me Up by Essie, Gel Couture. Mm -hmm. And all these colors, like I mentioned a little bit before, have the round brushes, which make um, these colors apply much better because pastels generally are harder to apply. So especially with the smaller brushes. So the first coat, this one doesn't need a base coat. And the first coat goes on quite thin. Of course, this is the nail from hell. There's I some, thought that was all there's of them. something, yeah, there's something, some kind of a fluffy there, but whatever. Let's pretend yes. it's not there. First nail, fail. All right, the second one is SE Expressy, all, all things O. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure what they're talking about. No. So SE Expressy has a very good brush. It's a nice flat kind of brush. It's kind of bent on the side a little bit. You kind of get used to the brush and it's like a nice peach color. I really like SC Express, yeah, I have to say. It's very close to Vinylax in how it kind of applies. Uh -huh. um, and so far it kind of leaves the nails quite nice and uh, healthy. Uh, this one is Forever Yours. I think that one was from uh, the bridal collection, which I'm not sure how this is a bridal color, color, but whatever. And to be honest with you, shellac, I was not too crazy about shellac version of this color. This also doesn't need a base coat, and we'll see how this yeah looks. It's a nice color, but it looks a little bit streaky. Well, so far it's uh, oh and three. They're all yeah. Well, the streaky. first the first coat. First coat, it's normal. Now, SC again. I picked this one up a couple weeks ago. Couture Curator. And again, this coat we're gonna do quite thin. This is nice. Okay, and the fourth one is going to be Dazzle Dry. And it's called Lotion Please. I have to say, um, I'm just gonna move this camera a little bit. Oops. Uh, yes. I have to say that Dazzle Dry has a very good pastel colors. So, You'll see me use quite a lot of the uh, Dazzle Dry colors. The last one is quite amazing, the one that I'm going to show you. Oops. That one, the Casablanca, it's incredible. All right, so this is Lotion Please. Okay, next one. Next one we're gonna do 
Sandy Vinyl Ox, and Carnation Bliss. This also comes in the shellac, in the gel polish. A lot of people are asking me the differences, uh, what the difference is between shellac and gel polish. So shellac is a gel polish. Gel polish is the name of a type of a product, and shellac is just one of, it's the name of the product made by CND. So only CND makes shellac. But it's a, such a big name that people kind of call everything shellac, all the gel polishes, which is incorrect. Carnation Bliss, very nice color. Now, Sahara. Very good. The yellows are notoriously difficult to apply. The one that I showed you in the previous video, the part two, not number one. <laughs> Uh, was also an amazing formula for yellow, definitely. Okay, Sahara. Now this is Busy Beeline. It's like a milky like ice cream kind of color, no? Like a vanilla ice cream. Um, I don't... No, what that be? No. What is it then? Well, vanilla tends to be white. More, more, yeah, more white. This is a little more creamier. So it's a creamy vanilla. Okay, this is like that nail from hell that has this biggest ridge. So this is going to need three <laughs> coats for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're getting worse as time goes by, so it's just becoming that much harder for you. It, it kind of keeps you on your toes. I know. Just so I don't feel like I'm that good. Evelyn, <laughs> I think this is Evelyn. <laughs> just... This is like a very cool... It's actually not a pink, it's more like a... Very light purple. A little dusty. No. Mm -hmm. No dusty. Now, this is a new color, Dress Call. What is it? Dress Call. Oh. From Essie. <clears throat> it's very pretty. Essie has amazing brushes. Ooh. What? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right, so let's uh, wait for these ones to dry. And, and do a second first. coat. Mm -hmm. This is, what is it? Uh, Lace Me Up. So this is almost like a, would this be vanilla color? No. No, no this is more like a peachy. That's, one. yeah, a little, it's a very pale, pale, pale pink. It's not a pink, it's peach. Pink. So these ones sometimes like it's better to apply three thin combs than uh, two thicker ones. Mm -hmm. Can you just not cross your arms? Yeah. All right. So now all things O. You kind of learn with these polishes that. See, like if you try to overwork it, it actually makes it worse. But um, you kind of get to know which ones need three coats. And when they do, then I try not to um, apply them in, in two coats because it's better to do two thin ones and then, sorry, three thin ones than two thick ones. This is just with acetone and I almost smudged this one. Oh, it's very, very smudgy. close. All right, so now the Vinyl Lux again, forever yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the shellac version also does not kind of cover in two coats and then at three coats because it's a gel polish. It gets a little bit too thick. I have to say I'm not a huge fan. Please don't move. So we're going to do three coats here. What are you doing? Breathing. Breathing. <laughs> I'm 
doing some of that uh, Huberman lab breathing. Oh, great. Just as I'm polishing nails. Awesome. By the way, actually, that's amazing channel, Huberman Lab. Yes. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't move, please. At least I'm not doing Wim Hof breathing right now, so yeah, yeah. then we'd be in trouble. Ridgy nails and lots of movement. Yeah. Okay, so on normal nails, I would say that this would apply into curls, but you know, you're not normal, so sometimes. <laughs> that was my ankle. Wow, thanks for sharing. No, you're welcome. Did I make a mess? Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna clean up the nails. Well, or, or I'm gonna do it now. Just oh, can't stop myself. Yeah, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, so this one stays flat. Flat. Mm -hmm. Just for a few seconds. All right. You know what? Carnation bliss, what? You like the blue? I take it back. Yeah. There you go. Uh, prior to the video starting, we were looking at some of the blues and my exact words were, I don't like either of them. Yeah. Okay, this one is good. Now, and you're eating your words. So uh, I'm gonna show you the, the it's different- It's growing on me. Okay, so I'm going to show you the different two that we were choosing and I'm gonna tell you why I didn't choose the other one. These blues. So this one is the lotion, mm. please. Oops, this one is the uh, Ocean Moon. So this is a very good color as well, but I don't know what it is with my bottle. It has like little pigments that are unmixed a little bit. So I don't know, it's a gorgeous color, but with the top coat, you don't see the, the little grains of pigment, but without it, it, it really does. Okay, so this one is, uh, this one is dusty. No. <laughs> it's a light pink that's dusty. No, we no, have dusty. also we have Stop it. ten other light pinks that we can share with you. So uh Ugh. you don't seem too impressed? No. So what colors do you wanna do? Hot pinks. Neon colors. Yeah well. I've been asking that for what, two years? Actually someone uh mentioned that Orly has a very good bright pink. Neons are funny because neons, um, neon pigment, neons, neon pigments are not allowed in cosmetics, like, I think. So none of the big brands are actually using them. So some of the colors are bright, but they're not necessarily neon. Well, maybe we need to find some underground that uh, have some yeah, neon so your nails, going on. So your nails can fall off. Or maybe be permanently stained. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Actually, you know what, I had a client don't oh move. I'm not no. moving. I had a client and I don't want to name names, but... You're going to cover that is, ridge anytime soon? Terrible. <laughs> anyway, so um, she wore like a neon, almost pink, pretty big brand. And when, I, when she took it off, her nails had like huge white patches. Weird. But not like your typical, like, it's normal for like some people to develop those white kind of spots, but they were like huge. Weird. That kind of freaked me out. Hmm. So. That's odd. And I asked her which color she had on her nails. And she had like a bright, bright pink. Yeah, so that was a, that was a, and I can't remember if they kind of went away or what happened hmm. to those nails, but. Yeah, like I'm very careful because you know like if you're working for yourself like and you're doing your own nails if something happens i mean whatever then it's your fault and your own nails but when you're working with clients and you're kind of responsible obviously for their nails and their health of their nails so if that happened to me like i would really really feel horrible because i just feel responsible for that okay this is really good two coats Pretty much covered. Okay, hold it this way. And let's see. Yeah, this one you see needs a 
There to be go. honest with you, yeah, I wouldn't go for this color. No. The fact that it needs three coats to cover? Yeah, like honestly, so in the previous video, this color is very, I'm gonna compare it in a second, uh, to Dazzle Dry Tweet Me. Actually, it's not bad. <laughs> Three I mean, the color is the color is nice, nice, but the fact that it takes three coats. Okay, to but get... also it doesn't have it doesn't need a base coat, right? So the first coat you can sometimes kind of see as a base coat. Yeah. Okay, so this is Dazzle Dry Tweet Me. What can I see on your now? And this one is incredible. Like this is an incredible, incredible color. Okay, so it's very very close, right? So honestly, if you, I mean, Vinylax is available pretty much kind of all over the world. It's, it is a really nice color. But anyway, so if you can buy Dazzle Dry, this is absolutely incredible. And always with Dazzle Dry, you buy the full, the full line, right? Let's see how this one looks with the third coat. When you're stained nails, I mean stained, uh, ridging nails. Ridging nails, nails? Yeah. stained. Yeah, they're not stained. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's do a quick third on this one. You're all over the place. I know, sorry. Well, so you guys, if you have virgin nails, then you know that these ones might need three coats. And let's just do this one, third as well. Oh. This way. I find SE Express he sets up quite fast. And also in previous videos we kind of talk about um, we talked about the SE Espressi, how to make it last longer and I would suggest using it with their clear coat as a top coat. Because without the top coat it doesn't really last as long. But with this as a top coat, it actually lasts quite, quite well. Okay, so let's just see how this one looks. This one doesn't need a, uh, doesn't need a third coat. No. Um, the only thing that I kind of have to say about the Dazzle Dry, it's a very, very thin polish. So if there is any imperfections in the nail, the polish is going to show, sadly. Mm -hmm. But also, it leaves the nails super, super healthy, I find. Dazzle Dry is amazing on toes. So you know how some people develop the white spots? Mm -hmm. From uh, continuous nail polish wear. And apparently it can happen with Dazzle Dry as well, but in my opinion, none of my clients have the white spots with, actually one has white spots. But with other polishes, that was much, much more common. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Of course, I'm jumping all over the place. Speaking of jumping all over the place, I uh -huh. feel really bad for some people outside right now. They're uh -huh. paying for parking, and parking is oh, free. Oh God! And I wish there was something I could do to stop them, but I yeah. can only silently observe. Yeah, that is. Well, sad. not so silently, but you know. Yeah, it's recorded. Yeah. Don't pay for parking. Stop. Should be on the machine. I think it is actually. It's just people don't read. Well, people. Well, there's four of them around the machine right now. Thinking? Uh, no, they've all come to the conclusion that they needed to pay, so therefore they are, and have. Wow. And I'm sure had they just simply read the machine, they would know that they didn't have to. Oh. All right, anyway, so that's uh, a little off topic. Yes. A little bit. Yes. I have to say I really like Vinyl Lux as well. Not the white sheer colors. Uh, that I have to say the Vinyl Lux is not the best for. Because they're really, really um, streaky. The, the sheer whites and sheer light pinks, no. <clears throat> Don't even try. Don't even try, she no. says. Because if I can't do a good job, then I don't know who can. I guess some people can. I've seen it apparently done, but I can't. I have difficulty I know. 10 nails. All right. 
you know what like okay so normal normal nails you don't need a third coat but of course i'm gonna do a third coat of course you are yeah after because... spending all that time cleaning up everything and mm -hmm. making it look all nice and now i'm gonna add a third coat yes okay this is perfect yep mm -hmm. can i breathe now yes okay so the hold on you were not breathing correct no. wow Okay, so, mm -hmm. yeah, so the longer you kind of can let the nails dry in between coats, the better, to be honest. Um, let's see how this one this is, seems pretty dry. Yeah, they kind of both feel very similar. This is still a little wet. So the SC Express and Vinylox are the same. The SC Gel Couture um, takes longer to dry. Mm. I found. Yeah, and SC Express also like it's kind of dull. Like it's not your beautiful finish. I think it looks very nice. Oh, good. Though. So we'll do the top coat, and then we're gonna see which two nails we're going to sacrifice for the two other colors. Okay, this is a nice color. Is it worth three coats? Let me see. If I didn't have the no, uh, no, no. Oh, okay. If we didn't have the tweet me by Dazzle Dry, then maybe. What are your favorite yeah. three? Let's just do this. Last time, this top coat went like a little uh, patchy on me or something. This time it's good. Patchy, patchy. Yeah. Um. Now, of course, guys, don't forget to like, oh, yeah. subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel and don't have the funding to do as such, just take the time to go and watch through the commercials. We'd appreciate yeah. it. It does help us a little bit financially. Um, so, yeah, don't skip if you if you don't mind. Yeah, don't hit that skip ad. ad. That would be really awesome if you didn't. Um, furthermore, if you do want to help us out financially, you can always go check us out on Patreon. We have some links for that down in the doobly-doo. Yeah, and I have, like, I, we post the videos. Um, um, you get early access with those. And I also usually do Watch Me Work videos or sometimes some extra stuff on Patreon. Mm -hmm. So there's, like, two different tiers for that. Not tiers, but tiers. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. Okay. Kind of like there, there, and there. Oh, you have okay. tiers well, and then you have tiers. God. Like tier one, tier two, tier three. Well, I suppose even the regular two. Both well, tiers have one, two, and three because they all start with one. Wow. All right, what do you guys think about the yellow? Because um, I, I actually like kind of like it, really which like is it. bizarre for me. Yeah, you know what? For darker skin tone, amazing. Um... It's a very good medium kind of yellow. Actually, I can see with it, yeah, darker skin tone. Yeah, it look yeah really amazing. nice. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. If with um, with gray, oh, that's the the uh, the colors of the year. That's gray and um, yellow. Yellow. I actually like that combination a lot. You know, I remember, and it wasn't all that long ago. <laughs> I say that, but it was probably about ten years ago when gray was actually one of the more fashionable colors. Yeah. I like gray. I can't believe 10 years was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. How about that? So what are your three that you like? Skill testing question as uh -huh. you're trying to apply a top coat. Mm -hmm. I would say I like this one. Mm -hmm. I like the yellow. Mm -hmm. And I like... Oh. Hmm. Formula, this definitely. Color, this one. Hmm. I actually like this one too. Hmm. Okay, how about you? You know what? Let, let's just... What do you think I'm going to pick? They're, okay. What was that? Okay, now the blue. Okay, the blue. Yeah. I'm going to guess. The, the blue. Okay. <laughs> the yellow. Okay. And... And the purple. Yes? Yeah. Wow. Honestly, you got all three of them. Wow. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, 
Holy crap. Yep, no, you nailed it. Out of the park. Damn it. You know what? Okay. You, people are going to think it's right. No, and but honestly, right. ask my clients. I have, and I'm not joking, I read minds when it comes to colors. So people sit down and they're like, hmm, I feel like something. And they, for example, they never wore purple. Mm -hmm. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, how about some purple? And they're like, purple. You know how many times that happens? It blows my mind. But I don't have the same thing when it comes to numbers, unfortunately. Really? What number am I thinking? Three. 42. <laughs> See. Correct. It's close. Very close because like four, two, three. Oh, you see? What? You said 42. Yeah. So there's four and two and in between it's three. Yeah. Mind blown right there. All right. You see? Yeah. All right. Ha ha. Oh boy. So yeah, apparently. Okay. No, I can't do that. It has to happen like naturally with colors. Okay, top coat for this. So guys, what do you, what, where do your top yeah, three? Let, let us know let, down let, in the doobly doo. Know. Yes, down in the comment section. So next we're going to do light pinks. So we have some light pinks colors. And yeah, we have two bonus ones that uh, oh, yeah. hopefully you've stuck around for the video because we got two bonuses. Two bonuses. Bonus colors. Okay, let's, let's see. Now two of them need to be sacrificed. Okay, hold on, let me just do Which the top coat. I don't know why I'm doing the top coat, but. Yeah, why are, wait, stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's sacrifice these, these some two Two colors. shall be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Okay, quick. These two. Really? I knew it. No, seriously. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, you forgot. What am I thinking now? 73. Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You, you, there's, you can't even come close to no. that one now. No, I can't. Oh. All right, so let's do... Actually, that's kind of a fun game. I like that. <laughs> okay. Let's sacrifice these two. The yellow one, I have a hard time sacrificing. Okay, so let's talk about our fundraiser very quickly. Yes, fundraiser time. So we're trying to raise $1,000 uh, for Carlota Galgos in Spain. So it's a sanctuary for, for dogs, for Galgos, um, where they rehabilitate them and they get adopted out. So um, I visited the sanctuary two years ago now, so I know the place is very legit. They do an amazing job. Pictures the dogs for proof. Need, yes, and the dogs need a lot of help and they're just amazing creatures. Anyway, so that's why we're trying to raise money for, for them. And um, we're trying to raise a thousand, but we already raised uh, how much the beer is actually over 500 507 as of uh, mm. yesterday which by so the way by thank the you way, to everybody Tracy, who has Michelle, donated yes the last, and, two people uh, that donated. the last two in particular we'd like to give a little extra shout out towards because yeah. they they've they've uh, they threw they threw down Michelle yeah. and sorry Tracy, Tracy Tracy yes yeah. yes thank you, know, you to you both really we awesome. greatly appreciate your contributions we appreciate everybody's yeah. contributions don't get me wrong and I actually, yeah, like I mentioned that in sometimes previous videos. Yeah, we, we really, for... really appreciate it. I know that uh, yeah, uh, it's one tough. one too appreciates it Yeah, appreciates yeah she it was very well. excited yes. when I told her about, about that. And don't forget, for those who have been following, who have been listening to us ramble on about this, and for those who are new, when we hit $1,000, oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, be yeah. wearing some hot pink, and I'm looking for some real hot yeah, pink, so we're like taking neon names. pink. Yeah, we're taking some names for the... Yeah for the uh, colors that he might wear. So someone suggested, and I think she's a very, she's so far the highest contributors. Wow, uh, contributor. Yes, so I think she, one of the people that contributed. Um, C and D, hold on. Color. Uh, it better be like the pink of pinks, eh? Ecstasy. This. Um, yeah. This one. In a nail polish. What? Not not hot enough? No. Oh god. Well it's not your choice, I'm sorry. It's the people that are donating. So we're gonna we're gonna what we're gonna find something. What <laughs> is this? No, this is really bright. I and never have control. <laughs> this is really bright. Really bright. It doesn't look as bright on a black brush, but it's very bright. 
All right. All right, well. So yeah, we'll, like this it, is one choice. It's and a then strong there's, contender. Yeah, and All then right. there's Orlean, which we'll see, which actually I don't mind trying Orlean. And you're gonna wear it for I like, want some super hot pinky pink that you can see like a mile away pinky pink. That one you will. But anyway, so uh, very quick yeah. thing about the uh, base coat. So um, you can apply one to two coats. If someone has super strong, healthy nails, you can do one coat. If people have more flexible nails um, or more damaged nails, you can do two coats, especially on hands. And what are we doing? Uh, doesn't dry, but I'm talking about the base coat. Okay. Yeah, so um, anyway, so you wanna make sure that um, the base coat is dry because if there is piece of base coat that's still shiny, I always look around and make sure that the whole area is dry, that there was no wet kind of patches because when you do, <laughs> because when you do, the polish will stick to it and becomes it becomes like really stringy and you can damage the, the formula of the nail polish. Okay, so this is Casablanca. This is one of the best formulas of nail polish. I like that color, right? Like, come on. Like, look at this. Yep. It's beautiful. It's I a beautiful like it. summer color, and the formula is just incredible. Okay, so let's now compare. This is Eternally Turquoise uh, with RPI. So, RPI, I really don't like the brushes. Um, I wanted to switch the brush, but you know what? Then I thought, okay, I'll, we'll try how this applies. Okay, not too bad at all. Not bad. I love these two courses. Doesn't dry, doesn't have it, sadly. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful thing. Of course, I have to. Uh, I'm not sure what I think of it. Mm hmm. Mm. Oops. Mm. Mm. Let's clean this up. Oh, and back to the fundraiser. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. I will wear it for one week. Yeah. And, yeah. and during that week, I'm going to take pictures in random spots. Yes, just to prove that he's just wearing it. Just to prove it. that, yes, I am in fact wearing it, doing random things. Yep. Yep. Okay, so as you can see, the dazzle dry is dry. Not surprised? So it goes matte. Most of the colors go matte. Correct. And this is like, this is dry. It's crazy, eh? Okay, so let's do the second coat. Of course, someone's gonna have to be calling us. All right. Casablanca, amazing. Yep. Not really pastel, but no, it's not a pastel. It's more like a brighter color. Pastel. Is it? No. No, but. I just felt like saying the word, oh. just because it sounded fun. Pastel. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see the second coat of this one. Oh my god. Okay, you know. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Winner. Good color. Eternally turquoise. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Dinner. Okay. So the nails are dry because I cleaned them with acetone, like I removed the polish. So you know guys what I do when I polish nails, even my own, I do the manicure with a cuticle remover and everything else and then I wipe the nails with a cleanser. I don't use any oil before I polish the nails because really, first of all, I can really see um, where the nail ends. So it's easier not to flood the skin. Mm -hmm. And also, I find that it lasts a little bit better because sometimes when you have oil in the little grooves, you try to clean it up, but it's it's hard to clean it up. So this way, okay, I'm impressed with this this color. <sighs> where do you keep? Where were you like poking my finger? I don't, I don't this is know. weird. Okay, top coat. So yeah, dazzle dry needs to be used with their. I use personally their prep as well, because I find the prep is not as dehydrating as some other products and it works with the system, which is like a cleanser. Mm -hmm. 
and then the base coat. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you doing? The base coat and uh, the top coat as well. So it's like a full system. Full system. Yep. Yes. There you go. It's like a dark turquoise, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then we're going to do a PI Infinite Shine. I changed the brushes in the top coat. Very nice color. Hmm. Very nice. Not bad. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. So, top coat. What else are we going to talk about quickly? Because we're almost done. I'm not sure. It's currently 420. Oh, God. And why do people care about that? Hmm? Awkward sounds. Yeah. Just the time. Okay. Just the time. Alrighty, so I guess uh, we have nothing else smart to say. <laughs> we never have anything smart to say. What are you talking about? No, exactly. We just show nice polishes. That's it. No, oh, no, I, I give good tips, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> On manicuring. There you go. This is, this is it for today's video. For this video. And, um... Yeah, uh, the next video is going to be about pinks. This is very pretty. Ugh. Pinks, pinks, Ugh. more pinks. But not like the super awesome pinkos. They're like, in my opinion. Oh my god, no, these are They're kind of like just the light pastel pinkos. Yeah, they're awesome. Aurora, I haven't tried this one. So this is what we're going to be showing you guys in the next video. Okay. Oh boy. This one. Alrighty, so um, thank you so much for watching, and um, we will see you in the next video, right? Yes. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Ciao.